Ah, so you want to use Trello and you don't know how to set it up. I did do another video last week about how to use Trello effectively, and I'll leave that at the end of this um, video so that you can watch it if you want to find out different ways to use it. But what we're going to do today is go through the steps to actually set it up. And I want you to see how easy it is and how you can manipulate it and how you can't break it. That's the key. Vanessa and I want to welcome you to my channel where I help you create an income generating business with affiliate marketing using YouTube as your business platform. Thank you for coming and thank you for watching my channel and make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to my channel and then hit that notification button so that you can receive notification every time I send a video every Tuesday and Friday. I don't know why I keep trying to say Monday. It's Tuesday and Friday, nine o'clock. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. Okay, should I start over? No, we're just going to keep going because that's just life, right? Sometimes we get tongue tied. So what are you going to learn today? You're going to learn all six steps that I have on how to sell, set up a Trello board so that you can get more organized. Like I said, make sure you watch my other video. It kind of goes over different ways you can set it up, but today we're just going to pretend that we're setting it up for our business. Okay. You can set it up for your home life. You can set it up for, you can integrate everything. You can do it for whatever you want. Maybe you like to work out and you have a really strict routine where you want to do certain things every day. I know when I'm on my game with working out, I had a schedule that I sat there every day and was checking things off. Well, now you can put it on Trello. And did you know Trello? Trello has an app. You can um, load it on your mobile device, uh, your desktop, and your web. So definitely use it and you can take it with you everywhere you go. So let's go ahead and find out how to set it up. We're going to go through six steps. This is what it's going to look like when you come in. This is my demo account. You can have as many accounts as you want. You can set up different Trello accounts uh, up with, you can use it through your business. Um, if you're still working for a company, you can have a Trello account with them because actually I do. That's when I first heard about it uh, because there's a team of us doing projects and we all have to go in and mark off our parts of the project because it's kind of like a workflow type thing. And then I have my own personal account and then I have this demo account. So my personal account is where I really put all my stuff. But this, I didn't want to bombard you with that. But this is what it's going to look like. You're going to have some examples here. And you want to go down here, oops, scroll down, and you want to create a new board. Now, when you create that board, before you even start, I suggest that you sit down, one, watch the other video that I had, and two, think about what you want to accomplish. Now, if you need to go through the video, I'll kind of go over some of those things of what Trello can do and how you can manipulate it. But before you create your board, think about what it is you want to accomplish. Now, the way I help that helps me remember boards and cards and lists, you're going to hear me say those three words. A board is like an index box. Okay. The cards are the index cards that are in there. And then on each card, I have a list of things to do. How do you remember them? They're in alphabetical order, board, card, list, BCL. So that's how I remember. And that has just helped me. In the beginning, I was spending a lot of time trying to remember now what. Um, then what gets confusing is these cards can move around just like they do in your index box, okay? So we're going to call start a board, okay? And we're going to title it um, my daily or weekly work, I guess. My Or let's just put my work tasks. Because I don't know what I have other things enabled, okay? So you can do this for yourself or you can do it for a team. Now, <clears throat> before you go any further, over here to the right, you can set up a background color if you'd like, or you can put an image in. We're gonna go ahead and just create it. You can start with a template if you want, <clears throat> where there's some available pictures and things like that. Okay, so this is your first list title, okay, or your card. Um, these are cards, these things right here, and you're going to put something at the top. So step number two actually was your background. And if you want to change your background, you can go over here underneath the menu and change your background. So let's do that as step number two. Now remember step number one, you had to design what you were, what your goals were. You can use photos or you can use colors. I'm just going to pick a color. I like this color blue and 
there you go. So when I see that blue, I know that's my work. Maybe I can do, um, maybe I can put my finances on here. I'm paying bills. I have a friend that was struggling with remembering to pay her bills and things like that. I had showed her my Excel sheet that I used and she said, I, you know what? Trello makes sense for me. I need to have everything listed on one card and then I can move it over as I pay my bills. So you might want to do that green. That's why that came up. Now we're going to go to set uh, to step number three. We're going to set up our card. So here are some tasks that you might do for your work. Maybe you have videos that you're making. So you want to hit that one. Well, if I spelled it right, that would be nice. Um, you might also, um, do social media you have to spend time on there for your job you're working from home maybe you have a newsletter that you send out each week and so on now i'm going to leave it at that because i don't want it to get too long now i can set up this up different ways i can set it up where i have each job on a card and then have my list that i do i could set it up my work that i have to do daily like could I, I could have monday things to do once i really know what i'm doing and it's off the cuff like right now when i set up a blog there's certain steps i have to go through and i've only been doing it a couple months and i want to make sure i don't miss all those steps um, I was that way when I first started doing videos. I had a little checklist and I make sure I put everything in. Well, now I've done it so many times that I don't need that anymore. So I may, for me, I might just put all my jobs daily that I have to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then list them. Um, Cause that's kind of where my work has gotten to, but I still stray. I mean, that's, the, but, it, it, but at least I can go back and say, okay, did you get this done? Maybe I didn't do it on Monday, but I did it on Tuesday. But we're gonna separate it by job for the sake of this demonstration. So I might have different videos. Um, I might have Tuesday um, and put the date, the name of the video, whatever. Um, and then I might have my Friday video and the date and the name. I'm just throwing those in there. Um, I may have all my ideas or my checklist for the video and that's when I open up the card that I put on the board and then I can go in and add some, oh, just a moment, that was the wrong thing to do. When you go in the card, there you go, you wanna hit the title, that's when you're gonna go in and add descriptions, checklists, and things like that. So you might have different activities listed, you might um, have a description, which I would highly recommend if you're gonna go in and make these boards, have a description, what do you have in there? Like what's on the board? Um, and and if, if it's yours and you don't need all that, then don't do it. But you have that option, especially if you're working with other people. I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible, but it does so much, it can start sounding complicated, but it's not. Um, what I want you to remember more than anything is you can't break this. You can just go in and delete the whole card, delete the list, start from scratch, make another board if you're not sure if that one's working and play with it. Um, what I love about this is for my videos, I can um, maybe move them around, maybe put the ones that are pressing at the top. Um, if I'm making a board where I'm doing, okay, these are my weekly tasks, these are in process and these are finished, I could do it that way. And the neat thing is you can move the cards over to another board if you need to. Now, the way I have it set up, that doesn't make sense, but you can do that. I could have my jobs Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and let's let's do this. Let's change that to Monday, my, my list of jobs that I wanna do, and let's make this one Tuesday. Maybe um, Monday I didn't get something done. Maybe I have five things I was gonna do and I didn't get them done. Well, what I can do is say, okay, I gotta do it on Tuesday instead. So this is stopping you from having a list on a piece of paper. And I don't know about you, but I'm old school and I would write it on my list and I love to cross things off. But then I found out if I didn't transfer that information to tomorrow's list, then I have like 16 lists on my desktop, on my desk. So this is really very, organized, very methodical, and you can move things around and then each day see what you need to do. And within that, if you're like me, I like to integrate my life with my work. Um, so mine is set up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, I might have to go feed my neighbor's dog at nine o'clock in the morning. So I can write that on there, um, feed neighbor dog by 8 a.m. or something like that. But I could put that on the list and then I can just have it up on my mobile device, right? Or I can put it on my desktop and I can access it from either place. So that's what you're gonna do next, okay? You're gonna make sure you set up the cards in some kind of a, um, 
an organized manner. I, I would recommend if you're brand new, just do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and start with that. And then if you find that it makes more sense for you to have different jobs on different cards, then do it that way. Again, you can't break it. Now, number four, I do recommend that if you're doing cards and you're working with other people, hopefully you're at that point that you've hired somebody to help you in your business, or maybe your spouse is helping you. Maybe the two of you are working together. Maybe your kids are helping you. You have teenage kids. There's things that they can do. If you're my age, you can have a grandchild helping you. I actually have two uh, family members helping on a couple of different jobs. Um, one is my granddaughter, 16. But anyway, I could have a, a card for her and a list for her. And here though, whatever her job is, I would put a description in so that she knows exactly what she's supposed to be doing, what I want accomplished. And I usually give my assignments by the month, not by the week. They know what they have to do. They know it has to be done by the end of the month because I work my business a month ahead, if that makes sense. And that way I'm not pressured. If there's a day that something happens and I have to go somewhere and Monday might be video day, but maybe that week I had to go somewhere that, that Monday is not Tuesday. That week's not waiting for a video. It's already there. I'm a week ahead, definitely a week or so ahead up to a month ahead. So definitely get into that routine, but there's where you can always add a description. Okay. Now, if you put descriptions in, you want to go to step number five and you might want to go in and edit the labels. Okay. So this is a label and I might want to make it blue. See that? And then I might want to edit that and say, see the blue? I want to say description. So every time I use that color blue, description comes up and I know that, that all the descriptions are blue. And then I'm going to save it. Now, what's going to happen is if you have tasks in here, right? We keep on making tasks. Sometimes that card can get moved down, but we can look at it and go, oh, remember the blue is the description. Let's make sure it sticks, uh, goes to the top. Whoops. But you can move them around, but the blue helps me see, okay, that describes everything that's going on within that card. Okay. So we want to make sure we get the descriptions in and we want to make sure we label them. The last thing you're going to do is make sure you put your list in and that's all the different tasks and you can have 10 or 15 you can number them um, you can have all kinds of tasks in there um, maybe something that would make sense let's say cleaning your house Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday you might say on Monday I'm gonna go in the house and clean the kitchen um, clean the bathrooms you know and then the next day you might want to make sure you clean a clock there's bathrooms I just moved it by accident um, Maybe on Wednesday, you're going to go in and clean bedrooms um, or do laundry. It can, you can use it for anything. Um, I'm mixing up. I know I'm going from home chores to work, but some of you don't have an online business yet. And maybe you're just looking at Trello to use it in your life. So I want you to see it can be used for everything. You might have uh, two or three very busy children. I was going to say sons, but girls like sports too. But you may have two or three very busy children that are involved in lots of different sports and that would come in handy. You can make a card for each child or you can do it again by the day. Um, we also would... I all right, so those are the six steps, very simple steps, just to get started to use the free account for Trello. If you want to start doing other things that are a little bit more advanced, you want to go over here to the show more button on the right hand side, and you can change your background from here, search for cards, add stickers, and there's lots more things that you can do. You want to also look under power ups because there's some things under there that you can upgrade your account. You can add emails, um, you can make other, you can copy boards, you can print and export and things like that. So I just want you to see that there's a lot more that Trello does, but at the very basic level, if you just go in and use it, um, instead of using those paper notes, this is a big step for some people. Um, you can move things around. You don't have to worry about crossing them off. And that's what I've got for you today. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to watch the videos at the end of this video. And 
thank you for coming don't forget to subscribe there is a link for Trello underneath like I said you can go for free yourself as well that link is not an affiliate link it's www.trello.com uh, so that you can go ahead and check it out let me know what you think go ahead and put your comments below if you've been using Trello and this is your favorite way to be organized please add some extra tips to our friends that are new and again thank you for coming and I'll see you on the next video